Why is it that it is the most blessed night of the year? It is because it is Laylatul Qadr. And the word Al Qadr is different than Al Qadr. Al Qadr means the great value, the great fortune, the great honor. This is how Allah the Almighty called it when He revealed a whole chapter of the Quran and named it after it. Inna anzalnahu fi Laylatul Qadr. Most surely we sent it down, we revealed it and we sent it down on the night of Al Qadr, the night of the great value, the most honorable night. Then Allah the Almighty addresses His Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as saying, وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ What will make you know what Laylatul Qadr is? And how would you know the value and the honor of this noble night? Only Allah. Because this night is such a great night, an honorable night that only Allah knows its value, the one who created it. It's a valuable night ever since Allah created the creation, before we were born, before we came to existence, Laylatul Qadr, the night of the great value, simply in order to comprehend how great it is, imagine that Allah the Almighty says, Laylatul Qadri khayrun min alf shahr. This one single night is better than a thousand months. A thousand months, that is 83 years and three months and a few days. Yes, indeed. What is the meaning of this one single night being better than a thousand months? Better than a lifespan, a whole lifespan of a person who lives for 80 plus years. Better in a sense that any worship that is offered during this night is better than the same worship which is offered over 83 years plus continuously, non-stop. Any reading of the Quran on that night is greater than the recitation of the Quran continuously over 83 years plus. Any charity that you give on that night is better than a charity that is given in 83 years and a few months. Any standing at night in prayer is superior in reward and better before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than the night prayer which is offered continuously in 83 years on every single night and a few months. Subhanallah. Why? Why Allah gave this night this great honor? He explains in the following ayah. Number one, Allah the Almighty said in the first ayah because the Quran was sent down on this night, was sent down to Bayt al Izzah in the holy heaven as a whole book. And from this book, segments after segments, ayat after ayat, were revealed to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam over 23 years. Over the following 23 years. And also the beginning of the revelation upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was in the month of Ramadan and during Laylatul Qadr, the night of the great value. On the night also and on every single Ramadan, every single year, the angels, they come down to earth. They descend to our worldly earth. والروح, is one of the angels, but he is their boss. Ar-Ruh refers to Jibreel alayhi salam. So the angels, and then Allah the Almighty, specially made mention of Jibreel because of his great value. Not only the regular angels, the ordinary ones, no. The angels led by angel Gabriel, peace be upon him, they all descend on earth. وَالْرُوحُ فِيهَا بِإِذْنِ رَبِّهِمْ By the leave of the Lord. مِنْ كُلِّ أَمْرٍ That is the night on which Allah the Almighty decrees to them the maqadir of the following year. The destiny of all the creatures for the entire following years. It's such a great night. This is not an ordinary night. And it should not pass by like any other night. It should not be spent like any other night. We have been praying since the beginning of Ramadan. Alhamdulillah. We've been praying at night, reading Quran. The time between Isha and Fajr is pretty short. 
So we spend all the time or most of the time in worship. But Laylatul Qadr is still different, different than any other night. Salamun hiya hatta matala al fajr. This night is very peaceful, it's full of peace that even Satan's are more chained on the night until the night is over. When is it over? At dawn. Matla al fajr. In the hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inna al shamsa tatlu'u kulla yawmin bayna qarnay shaytan illa sabihata laylat al qadr. On every morning the sun rises between the two horns of Satan. He appears between where his horns are holding the sun in between them. So those who worship Satan, they worship during this time. That's why it is not permissible for us to pray during this time at sunrise and at sunset. Except on the morning of that night, this night the earth is protected from Satan's. Satan himself does not appear on that night until its morning, does not even appear before the sun for his worshippers on the morning of that night. Ubad ibn al-Samit narrated that the Prophet said, وَلَا يَحِلُّ لِشَيْطَانٍ لِلشَّيْطَانِ أَنْ يَخْرُجَ مَعَهَ يَوْمَ إِذٍ It is not allowed for Satan to come out on that night or on the morning of that night. في تلك الليلة تصفد مرادة الجن وتغل عفريت الجن which means on that night even though from the beginning of the month the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said تصفد الشياطين ordinary jinn and satans are chained the exception of the most uh, rebellious ones but on that night they too will be chained it's a blessed night you made, it very, you made us very excited to know which night is it. If that is your question, it is one of the following nights. One of the following nights beginning from tonight until the end of Ramadan. I heard that there are some hadith that says, Il tamisu ha seek it on the odd nights. Tonight is an odd night. In most countries, alhamdulillah, we began Ramadan all the same. Today is the 20th of Ramadan. We still have a couple hours before sunset. Some countries are approaching sunset right now. At sunset, that is the beginning of the first odd night, the night of the 21st day of Ramadan. Yes, in the hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said, you may seek it in the odd nights. Some hadith specifically mentioned the 29th, uh, the Prophet ﷺ mentioned the 21st or the 23rd, the 25th, the 27th or the 29th. And some hadith mentioned from the end of the month, which means the odd could be even and the even could be odd. I'm not taking no chances. No one should take a chance or guess it was tonight or the night after tomorrow. No. From tonight, inshallah, every night you should perceive it as the night of the great value as the night of Al-Qadr don't take a chance you never know if you're so lucky to pray during this night and to stand in Qiyam during this night then insha'Allah you have a whole lifespan of 83 years of worship in the scale of your good deeds and even better because Allah said khayrun the worship of this night is khayrun min alf shahr so we're going to pray, we're going to recite Quran, some of us will remain in i'tikaf. All of us, whenever you enter the masjid to pray taraweeh, intend i'tikaf. Ya ikhwani, whoever prays the isha in jama'ah tonight, and if it happens to be Laylatul Qadr, has indeed did qiyam tonight for Laylatul Qadr. Then if you add to that, you pray the nawafil, then the taraweeh, then tahajjud, you're very lucky. You have been chosen by Allah. You've been invited to his house. You're his guest. It is the duty of the host to honor his guest. You're the guest and Allah is the host. What kind of honor will we get after this call, inshallah? Assalamu alaikum. Um, so let's learn some very interesting steps to take advantage of this blessed night, which will also answer uh, questions pertaining to the same uh, subject. Uh, 
fill your pocket with some change and cash. On every single night in the remaining last nights of Ramadan, give a sadaqah. This sadaqah could be 10 bucks, 10 dirhams, 10 riyas, 10 dollars, could be 100, whatever you can afford, could be one. Make every one of your children donate a pound, a dollar, a euro, just a single coin. This single charity which you give tonight and on every single night until the end of Ramadan is nothing as far as the value. But as far as the reward, it is beyond your imagination. You cannot calculate how much reward will you get for it. Every ibadah which is offered on Laylatul Qadr is better than the same ibadah that is offered continuously over 83 years and a couple months. So that's a very sim simple practice that we need to do. Whether you drop it in the donation box in the masjid or zakah box, or if you know people, the gatekeeper, the driver, the maid, uh, relatives who are poor. So the more you give, definitely the more reward you will get. That is something which people always think that to give you have to give something valuable. No. Even if it is something very little. You know what? Take some baklava to the masjid tonight. When you're going for taraweeh, take a box of dates. Take a box of bottled water so that you distribute it upon those who are praying. Some sweet, some refreshment. Do something so that the public will benefit out of it. If you do not do it by hand, send it overseas to your country, to people who accept donations, to non-profit organizations on a daily basis. So every night you do something like that. If you're in i'tikaf, ask your wife, ask somebody to give every day that much. In the streets, you meet people who are poor, give them something on a daily basis in the remaining 10 nights of Ramadan. You're going to see wonders as a result of that. As I said, those who pray Isha in Jama'ah, as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, مَنْ صَلَّى الْعِشَاءَ فِي جَمَاعَةَ فَكَأَنَّمَا قَامَ نِصْفَ اللَّيْلِ Praying Jama'ah, Isha in congregation, is equivalent to praying for half of the night in Tahajjud, or the night prayer. وَمَنْ صَلَّى الْفَجْرَ فِي جَمَاعَةَ فَكَأَنَّمَا قَامَ اللَّيْلَ كُلَّهِ and if you pray Fajr in Jama'ah, that is equivalent to praying for the whole night. If you pray Isha, then uh, Sunnah and Witch, Alhamdulillah, you prayed the Qiyam, which is the minimum. But this is a night that is not to be missed. Because again, I have no assurance that I'm going to live until next Ramadan. Only Allah knows who's going to live and who's going to die. We have people who produced this program last Ramadan. And a couple months ago, they're young, they have a long way to go. They have young kids, they're very physically fit. Finished as good as they went home and they had a heart attack. He died. So Alhamdulillah, you're still alive. You're witnessing this Ramadan. Be very eager to take advantage of this night. Do not let go. Assalamu alaikum. In the sound hadith, which is collected by Al-Bukhari or Muslim, Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, narrated, hadith. A segment of this hadith, the last segment, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, وَمَنْ قَامَ لَيْلَةَ الْقَدْرِ إِيمَانًا وَاحْتِسَابًا غُفِرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ ذَنْبِهَا He will happen to pray on Laylatul Qadr and stand in prayer out of faith and anticipating the promised reward from Allah, all his previous sins will be forgiven. Can you imagine in a single practice for a single night all your sins will be forgiven?